Okay, everything's looking good. Yeah, here we are, Doki Doki Literature Club. I'm as surprised as you are. This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Okay. Individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a safe experience playing this game. For content warnings, please blah 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 blah. Well, we're off to a great start, aren't we? By playing Doki Doki Literature Club, you agree that you are at least 13 years of age and you consent to your exposure of highly disturbing content. Well, okay, I agree. This game is not suitable for... yeah, we already saw that. Okay, now, normally with computer games I use my own real name, but considering this is a game in high school, I'm gonna want to put some emotional distance between myself and the player character. So I'm gonna choose a different name. I'm gonna put in... Dude. That way it can be an homage to Jeff Bridges, and, you know, I can make jokes about the movie if I wanted to. Well, we're diving right in, I guess. Hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. Huh, my character's kind of an asshole. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. It could put in some effort, dude. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. Yeah, my character kind of is an asshole. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Aww. Ha! Ha! Bless you? I overslept again! But I caught you this time! Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Hey, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me! Not gonna lie, he kinda was. That's mean, dude. Well, the dude abides. Well, if people stare at you for asking... Whoa. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Dude. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you want to. Oh, girl, you don't know me at all, do you? Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. Yeah, just look at all those students there. By the way, dude, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? Was I very drunk at the time? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Yeah, you should never listen to women, dude. 
Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me, when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Wait, this is my high school experience! Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. What the hell is a neat? If anybody knows, let me know in the comments. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. What, are you our shrink now? The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. And I'm the only student in class, apparently. Okay. After I, pack up, after I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Yeah, that... that's realistic. Trust me, in school, as soon as the bell rings, it's room out of the door. Clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Anime club roll call! If you got that, you've been on the internet for way too many years. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. Yeah, the door is like right there. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting there and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. Oh hey, greetings from Belgium! Sorry if I don't look at the chat too often, but uh, there's a lot of things to read in this game. See, now I've forgotten if I already said this line. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... Know what? Well, that you could come to my club! Sayori... Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Meanie! Sayori is vice president of the Literature Club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. Haven't you known her, like, for your entire life? In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That's it, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, this player character does not speak for me. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please! Hey, they just released a new Trigun. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kinda told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> don't make promises you can't keep. And don't talk about my member. 
I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. <sighs> Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go! And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I hope that's not a metaphor or a euphemism or anything. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third-year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door and hits somebody in the head who was standing behind it. Everyone, the new member is here! I told you, don't call me a new member. In fact, let's just forget the word member entirely. Eh, I glance around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Wozers! Now, those are some bazongas. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere! Hi, kid! Ah, dude, what a nice surprise! Welcome to the club! Um... All words escape me in this situation. This club... is full of incredibly cute girls! And incredibly underaged girls. Yeah, that... that's... that's great. What are you looking at? Nothing? If you want to say something, say it! Okay, you remind me of Strawberry Shortcake. Sorry? Not Suki. Humph. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is the one I don't recognize. But apparently she makes cupcakes. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Yeah, that's deeply uncomfortable. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. Hey, I just said that. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Yeah, you are a bit of a manipulator, aren't you? Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D don't say things like that! You know I'm a huge dumbass! Yuri, who appears comparatively more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori or Natsuki. Um, it's nice to meet both of you. Well, some of you. Well, one of you. Maybe. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? Yeah, I used to watch Friends all the time. That's right! It's great to see you again, dude! Monica smiles sweetly. And that sure is a pose! Tits and ass out at the same time! We do know each other, well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Yeah, I can see that. How does her spine do that? Basically, completely out of my league. So, having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You too, Monica! Yeah, I had nothing. Come sit down, dude! We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes! Hey, I made them! I'll get them! Okay, calm your tits. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then, how about I make some tea as well? Tea? You get to make tea in class? This is one weird high school. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened 
so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room, where Natsuki grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> yeah, that's from D Generation X. Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Uh, can, can I, like, see that? No. Just gonna stand there, are ya? Okay. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea we were such good at baking, Natsuki. Eh, well, you know. Just hurry and take one! Sayori grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Yet yeah, the large girl with the black hair, Yuri, she's not... Okay, fine. Sayori talks with her mouthful and has already managed to get icing on her face. Once again, hoping those aren't euphemisms. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the... Looking for the best angle to take a bite? Aren't cupcakes, like, round? Whatever. Natsuki is quiet. A little too quiet. I can't help but notice she are sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good! Thank you, Natsuki! Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? I don't know, I'm already lost. Made them for you or anything? Eh? I thought you technically did, Sayori said. Well, maybe! But not for... You know, you dummy. All right, all right. Jesus. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Thank God. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. Oh, so that's why she didn't have a cupcake. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. Teachers were probably never, ever gonna see, are we? But hey, at least plugs up the plot hole I said I pointed out earlier. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess... Well, tea, wine, beer, vodka... Yeah, tea works. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Eh, that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. Oh, she actually does. Good movement. I meant that, you know. I believe you! Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in, in relief. Yeah, you would almost say this thing is uh, set in Japan or something. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the Literature Club, Cupcakes, and, you know, get a Glade? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... 
that's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? Okay, Monica, she's got this thing in her hair, and when she does her whole sideways glance thing, it's clear that it is a ribbon, but from this angle, it looks like either she's got one of those bonnets, or, I don't know, cat ears. You know, one of those Amish bonnets. Huh. Doki Doki Amish Club. There's a thought. Original IP, do not steal. As president of the literature... Whoa, lost my words there. As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make this club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. You hate fun. How come you decided to start your own club? You couldn't... You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Like the anime club, join me. Weren't you the leader of the debate club last year? Uh, well, you know... To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about budget and publicity... ...and how to prepare for events. Why do I have a feeling we're gonna be doing nothing but that in this game? I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. Quick side question. How much damn moose or whatever goes into your hair so it looks like that? Seriously, it looks like a water park slide. And if, and if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in this club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Like streaming when you've never done it before. Anyway, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. By the way, I'm having some problems saying the word lit the world the word literature today, which is a bit of a problem for this stream and this game. But we'll soldier on. You have to work hard to convince people you're both fun and worthwhile. This is so meta right now. But it make but it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it! Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. My dick. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were also delighted by the idea of a new member joining. See, told you. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So dude, what kind of things do you like to read? Yeah, for those of you joining us late, I called my character Dude. In honor of Jeff Bridges. And you know, so I can make Big Lebowski references. 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 Though, then this would be called Doki Doki Bowling Club, wouldn't it? Huh, there's a thought. Original IP, do not steal. So, dude, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, Discworld, Lord of the Rings. Well, uh. Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. Or manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half choking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change! What am I saying? 
I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. I guess. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. Oh Christ, she's into Game of Thrones, isn't she? Yes, I know it's called The Song of Ice and Fire. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. Yeah, definite GRR Martin fan. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. What? Dresden Files? I don't know, never read it. Isn't it amazing how a writer can deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. Yeah, Stephen King's It. There's a scene in there you do not want to put on the movie screen. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. If you smell what a rock is reading! Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you... ah, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Eh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Cause she's like 10! Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? Well, the way you look. You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! Trying to think of a funny name? Nothing in my brain. Hey, that rhymed. So that was the poem. And give that back. Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems... Everything you do is such a... is just as cute as you are! Sayori sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I... don't know where this is going, but I don't think I like it! I'm not cute! Okay, Jesus. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I don't! I think that's impressive! No, I don't! Why don't you share them sometime? No! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them when I'm angry. Ah, uh, not a very confident writer yet? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Well, not with every type of writing, but yeah, let's go on. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Um... I guess it's the same for Yuri. Ah, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. 
Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Huh? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Oh. This is, this is gonna be a great game, isn't it? Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everybody is even. Um... Uh, yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it'll help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Okay, starting to talk about bondage now. Isn't that right, dude? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. I don't know how to read or write! Eh, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club! Sayuri may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and... um... I lose my train of thought. All four, all four girls stare at me with dejected eyes. B but I'm sorry, I thought. Humph! <laughs> and they're all sinking. Dude! You all, um... I'm, I'm defenseless against these girls. How do I, how do I unlock the rocket launcher? How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls and get some... Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the Literature Club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. And they get off their knees, apparently. Yes, I'm so happy! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Then that makes it official! Whoosh! She just hit the other girl with her hair like she's Sindel from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Welcome to the Literature Club. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Dude, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Monica, for Christ's sake, stop presenting! Yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel anxiety welling up inside me. Heh, <laughs> welling up. <laughs> Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Atsuki clean up their food. Hey dude, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because he was always staying after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart to the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Probably. Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Or two. Or three. Alright. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. Famous last words. And I guess that starts with writing up 
poem tonight. Okay, it's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Okay. So I just pick words. Fantasy. Uh huh. What does incongruent mean? That's not a joke, I'm actually asking. Okay, thanks. Doki doki. Uh -huh. Adventure. Extraordinary. Death no. Kawaii. Kitty. Jump around. Jump around. Jump up, jump up, and get down! Marshmallows! Ooh, shiny! Uh, lust! Happy, happy, joy, joy! Bliss! Bubbles! I'm just saying words out loud at this point, which just is kind of the point of a stream, but it's so weird. Puppy! Silly! Party! Sugar! Skirt. Oh, there's one more. Okay, who's got daddy issue? Oh, crap. Hi again, dude! Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> because we'd hunt you down. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least uh, I keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everybody else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, dude. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Hey, girl! No, 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 no. Don't use the C word! Not on me! Or on the dude, I suppose. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it Oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. Zero, you told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. That... Hey, Sayori. Snitches get stitches. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. Well, yeah, that's the point of a club, isn't it? But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Um, you're beginning to scare me a little. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for somebody who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and Manga. Yeah, Monica coming in for the save there. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki pops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Dude always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with my busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room... Why? That's... really weird. Also, cooking, where the hell are your parents? How dependable. 
What a doormat. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Ever since your parents moved to Alaska without telling you, it's just been going downhill, hasn't it? Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Dude can become good friends, too. Um... Yeah, the inflection there was implied in the text, don't you think? Sayori? Hmm? Uh... As usual, Sayori, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Well, put us all... all three of us into. Oh, oh! Yuri even brought you something today, didn't you? Wait, Sayori. Uh, me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Never mind. <sighs> Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Uh, I'm sorry, Yuri, I wasn't thinking. Well, this is just riveting, isn't it, people? I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. I dropped my pants. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. Yeah, that's me when I started this game. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. Well, I know my audience, and my audience is mostly American, so... It'll make me happy no matter what! Is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. Okay, if that's Twilight, I'm leaving and this stream is over. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's called Fifty Shades of Grey. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know... Discuss it if you wanted. That's a euphemism, isn't it? Th this is... really weird. How is this girl accidentally being so cute? I d you're on your own, dude. She even picked out a book she thinks I like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. Not. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew! Well, you can read it at your own pace. Good, see you next year. I look forward to reading what you... I look forward to reading what you think. I'm the one that's reading what you think. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. Yeah, like, you know, there's in every club. Like, maybe we'd read a book and discuss that. That's what a literature... literature la, 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 la. See, I can't say the word literature, which is really, really bad for this stream. Hmm. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is also existing and rummaging around in the closet. Ech. I hear Natsuki utter an exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. You looking for something in there? Like the way to Narnia? Freaking Monica! She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is just gonna mess it up? Yeah, I'd snark here, but I have like 3,000 action figures, so... not gonna. Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga. 
You read manga, right? Ah, sometimes? Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really, you're really into it until you figure out whether the, uh, where the other person stands. How did you know, anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point? Yeah, like, yesterday, you were all there. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? That's both the character and me saying that. I see... There's a lone volume of manga amidst a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. There it is! Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. She then turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better! Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that feel. Yeah, once again, 3,000 action figures. Not gonna judge. I get a closer look at the box set she's admiring. Parfait girls? Ah, so I'm guessing these girls are like onions. They have layers. Yeah, that's a Shrek joke. I'm really with the times, aren't I? It's a series I've never heard of in my life! Yeah, you and me both, dude. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic, or it's simply terrible. If you're gonna judge, you can go do, you can go do it through the glass on that door. She points to the classroom door. Yeah, my... Character's an asshole. Hey, I wasn't judging or anything. Yes, you were. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. Yeah, also, it's kind of hard to tell what the player character is saying or what is just his internal monologue. But I'll tell you one thing, dude. Consider this a lesson straight from the Literature Club. Don't judge a book by its cover. In fact, Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm gonna show you exactly why! No, that's alright. Can, can I go back to the girl with the big boobies? She shoves a book right into my hands. Ah, I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire striking animated feminine poses. Is this Inception now? It's exceedingly moe. Don't just stand there. Ooh, uh. Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She's surprisingly strong. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the windowsills. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Uh, wouldn't chairs be more comfortable and, you know, appropriate? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. How, how wouldn't they work? They're chairs. Their one function is for you to sit on them. We can't read at the same time like that. Uh, why? Yeah, really, why is that? Ah, I guess it's easier to be close together like this. Mm. Don't just say that! Yeah, this character does not represent me, Your Honor. You'll make me feel weird about it. Right there with you, sister. Natsuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Sorry. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's particularly a bad thing. Once again, Your Honor, we have different counseling. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. Jeez, kid, you're like a jail sentence waiting to happen, aren't you? 
Yeah, I know that's an old joke from a Spoonie review, but it's the first thing that sprang to my mind. The guy was the master of riffing. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Whoa, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Huh? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometime after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, no. I am, but nothing's really happened yet. So I can talk at the same time. This really is Inception, isn't it? It looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Yeah, yeah, I'm seeing what you're doing there, game. Typical slice of life affair. I kind of grew out of these, since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. So, what should I expect from this? Hardcore fucking. Is there going to be a plot? Well, obviously. You think I would enjoy something that didn't have a plot? I mean, well, I guess I know what you're saying. A lot of the beginning is about simple things. Like there's a really funny chapter where they're obsessed with a guy at the ice cream shop who just joined their club. But that just helps to get them but that just helps you get to know the characters. And besides, it's still entertaining. But later on, there's all kinds of drama. Oh look, foreshadowing. Like when they get into all their backstories and when some of the romance starts to happen. That's really what makes it so good. There are so many touching parts. Let's not talk about our touching parts. Ah, is that so? It sounds like you really know what you're talking about. Maybe I underestimated you. <laughs> hey, wait! What's that supposed to mean? Uh... Natsuki gives me a little shove. I just meant that I haven't seen you at your full power. What, is this Dragon Ball Z now? I mean, with that hair, who knows? Um, good save. Ah, this chapter seems like it's about baking. Well, it's called Parfait Girl, so food would be involved somehow. This is just a guess, but is there a lot of baking in this manga? Well... Natsuki pauses for a moment, as if she doesn't want to admit something. Yeah... Why does that matter? It doesn't. I was just curious. Sorry for trying to have a conversation. Since you enjoy baking too, right? That's... Just a coincidence! I just happened to get into baking around the same time I got this manga. Like I would, like I would ever get into anything because of it's a, because it's in a manga. I feel bad for anyone that impressionable. Nah, <laughs> definitely not a coincidence. I guess that explains Natsuki's interest in baking. By the way, it's entirely possible that I've been mispronouncing her name this whole time, but I don't care. I'm saying it the way that it's written. It might be Natsuki or something if it's Japanese, but then again, there's a Monica here, so who the hell knows? Still, of all the hobbies to pick up from a manga, that's definitely one of the better ones. Not to mention, she's really good at it, so who am I to judge? What the? There's more than one type of graphic. Could have, you know, done that earlier. Also, what's up with her hair? She kind of looks like it's um the snout of a walrus. A pink walrus, obviously, but anyway, moving on. We read on for a few more minutes. I finished a couple of chapters at this point. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? You asking me or the player character there? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read, 
Oh, I s the character said that, not Natsugi. Okay, whatever. Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with somebody else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. Yeah, once I get them to play the Silent Hill games, they're awesome. Anyway, you know what I mean? Mm, huh? You don't? Um, hey, your eyes moved. That's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share our manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Ah, sorry. Umph. Like I could ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. I can't even bring it up without them being all like... Uh, you still haven't grown out of that yet? Makes me want to punch them in the face. Ugh, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated towards the other losers over time. Christ, my character's an asshole. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Huh? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. I don't even know what my dad would do if he found this. At least it's safe here in the club room. Except Monica was kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am, reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe, but at least you're enjoying yourself, right? Right? So? <laughs> Jeez, that's enough. Are you gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flipped the page. I'm gonna flip out if this takes much longer. Suddenly, Natsuki starts laughing. <laughs> I totally forgot that happens. Natsuki puts her finger on one of the panels. Minori is my favorite character. You always feel a little sad for her since she's so unlucky. But it gets especially bad when... Um... I shouldn't be talking about that yet. S just finish this chapter. Yes, yeah, spoilers. <clears throat> Natsuki's voice sparkles with excitement. It's a stark contrast to her usual bossy and bitchy tone. But if she's not used to sharing her favorite manga with her friends, I can understand why. It's hard to express in words the feeling you get when connecting with someone like that. And being able to provide that to Natsuki, for whom it's a rare experience... The thought makes me smile a little to myself. Okay, everyone! Eh? Are you all ready with today's poems? Oh, crap, I forgot about that. Um... Oh, come on! Could, you ti could your timing be any worse? Sorry. Do I have to hit you with my hair again? I just need to make sure we have enough time. Though you do look pretty cozy over there, ha! Uh, no! Eh? Ah! Natsuki suddenly notices how close she's gotten to me. She hastily slides herself a good 12 inches away from me. Okay, there's no co there's no way that's a coincidence that they're saying 12 inches. I know what you're doing, game. You're referencing the original 60s G.I. Joe. Alright, guess I'll stop here for now. I close the book and hand it towards Natsuki. You're just giving it back? Well, yeah, isn't that what you're supposed to do? Don't you want to know what happens? Uh, yeah, but... Monica just said... Don't be dumb. 
Just take it home with you. Huh? Is that really all right? I say that mostly because I really didn't plan on using my spare time to read this. Well, of course. I would take it would take forever to finish if you didn't take it home. Just finish that one before tomorrow so we can start the next one. Oh, great, extra homework. And if it gets bent, I'll kill you. Yeah, I'm really not sure if that's a euphemism. Wait, what's the opposite of a euphemism? By tomorrow? I only got partway through the volume so far. It's a comic book, how long can it... Whatever. I might fall behind on some shows if I try to get through this. But I suppose that's a necessary sacrifice in exchange for seeing Natsuki's enthusiastic face. Or am I more scared of what will happen if I don't finish it? Yeah, I I'm going with, op with uh, option 2 here. Alright then! I stand up. I return to where I put my stuff and carefully slip the book into my bag. By the way, did you remember to write, to write a poem last night? Yeah? My relaxation ends. Right there with you, dude. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I refer you to the remark I made a few moments ago. I couldn't really find much inspiration, since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everybody's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf, torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. I have really good eyesight, apparently. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. They hit me because I went into their bags. Who should I show my, my poem to first? 